Hey guys, Anthony here for the tutorial on how to use Edit Points in PowerPoint 2016. Using Edit Points, you can take a shape and convert it into any other shape you want to. In this example, as you can see, I took a rectangle and converted it into a heptagon. Edit Points can come very handy. For example, I had this Canada 150 logo that I wanted to animate. So I reconstructed the individual pieces of the logo using edit points so I could animate it like so. To demonstrate how to use edit points, let me first insert a shape. Let me go to the insert tab and then choose shapes and then I'll choose a rectangle. Now there are a couple of ways to enable edit points and one way to do this is to click on the shape and then go to the Format tab, drop down Edit Shape, and then choose Edit Points. You will notice that as soon as I go into the Edit Points mode, you will notice these little black handles. Alternatively, you can right click on the shape and then choose Edit Points. Okay, now let me demonstrate some of the finer aspects of edit points. So here I've got the same rectangle I showed you earlier with an outline of a trapezoid. When I go into edit mode and then hover my mouse over this point in the top right corner, you will notice that the mouse cursor has changed into these four little arrows. By left clicking, you can drag that point and I'm just going to do that. I'm going to drag that point to the trapezoid top right corner. And I'll do the same with the other three points. As you can see, the rectangle is now a trapezoid. Also notice that when I hover my mouse over this top right edge of the trapezoid in the edit mode, the cursor again changes into this little cross with a little square in the middle. If I right click my mouse, you will notice that I have a few options. And one of the options is curved segment. And if I choose it, it changes the straight edge into a curve. I can add a curved segment to any straight edge and I'll apply it to this left edge right here. Similarly, I can change this curved segment into a straight segment. Again, I can right click it and then choose straight segment. And this can be very helpful. In this example, I'll change the trapezoid into a pentagon. You'll notice that I'll need to add an additional point to the trapezoid in order to change it into a pentagon. So if I go into the edit mode, and then I can just drag those points to the respective points on the pentagon like so. And now I'm going to need an additional edit point. So I'm just going to right click on that edge and choose add point. And then I can just drag this point to this corner. So as you can see, I've now turned the trapezoid into a pentagon. So now let's see how to turn this pentagon into a circle. Yeah, you can do that too. So I'm going to first add more edit points to this pentagon and turn it into a decagon. So now, this is a decagon and it's pretty close to the shape of a circle as you can see. Except that we now need to add curved segments like I showed you earlier. So 
so there you have it. It's not a perfect circle, but it's pretty darn close. One final thing I wanted to show you is this. Let me go back to this slide. Now when I click on the edit point, you will notice these little two white squares. And these handles can actually be used to control the curve of this curve segments or straight segments like so. They are more of a fine tuning tool. But as you can see, this circle is pretty close to perfect. But you could use those little handles that I just showed you to really fine tune and get it perfect. Using the edit points tool, you can morph different shapes like what you're seeing right now. So what I did was use the edit points to change the shapes and then applied the morph transition. To learn how to use the morph transition, you can check this tutorial. I will also be creating a separate tutorial to show you exactly how I morphed these shapes. Well, I hope you found this tutorial useful. You will find many more PowerPoint tutorials on my YouTube channel, so feel free to check in. And if you've got any questions, please leave them in the comment section. Thanks for watching.